this is the Provoke Prawn, and if you have any problems with sleeping, getting to sleep, or anxiety and stress that prevents you from sleeping throughout the night, then this is the video for you. Here I'm going to talk to you about Cocoon's in-ear sleep headphones, crafted in partnership with Philips, which deliver fantastic, comfortable and relaxing sleep sessions, and are really wonderful to use. I'm going to talk to you about my experiences with these in-ears and what you can do with them and the power of them. This is a simple concept really. Some very comfortable in-ears which allow you to drift off to sleep with various different soundscapes. So to do things a little bit differently, I'm setting a relaxing scene for you here with some nice background audio to give you a rough idea of what the experience is like. Because with these in-ears, you essentially have a number of different options in how to fall asleep or how to stay asleep. And that's the important thing I want you to take away from this. If you have problems, whether it's drifting off to sleep or simply staying asleep during the night, then these may be a good solution for you. I found them particularly useful when I've been really stressed or if there's just noise in the house, whether that's your wife snoring or your kids making too much noise, these earphones can make a big difference there. Now, naturally, you get nice little earphones in a nice carry case with a number of different tips included as standard. You can then use the earphones, connect them to the Cocoon app, and then choose from a variety of different soundscapes. You have a number of different things you can do here, whether that's listening to meditation sessions with very relaxing sleep therapy sessions and showing you how to get to sleep or helping you relax, listening to your breathing, those sorts of relaxing sessions like that. Things called the body scan, which just help relax your aching muscles from throughout the day. Or you can listen to various different soundscapes, things like the sound of the beach or a campfire or just rain and thunderstorms. And then you can mix in other things too, like relaxing music, sort of lo-fi, chilled beats over the top of those sounds. You can choose the levels that you want from that. And then you can have that just play for a while. For example, one of my favorites is just to have the sound of the beach and then celestial beats over the top of that, which last for about an hour. And after that time, it will then fade into white noise. You can choose from white, brown and pink noise to fade there, or just have the sound fade out and then you can drift off into a solid sleep. Now there are some interesting things happening here. The headphones, for example, are designed to detect when you're falling asleep and account for that, and so adjusting the sound. And also, you can set them so that they will turn off after a certain period of time. Now, it's not without its downsides. For example, I found that the battery life is a bit hit and miss, and it is easy to drain. And unfortunately, they don't come with a charger, only a USB-C cable, so you do have to plug that in yourself and then charge them up. Unfortunately, they don't have wireless charging, which would be fantastic if they did. But you can adjust the various different settings to save battery life. For example, sending them to sleep when they're not in use or getting it to automatically turn off if you take the headphones off during the night, if you need to, for example, you found they've got uncomfortable. Although I will note that I haven't found them uncomfortable at all. They're easy to wear throughout the entire night. And that's definitely a highlight. Now, I originally tried Cocoon Sleep headphones probably a couple of years ago, and those were larger over-ear headphones, and they were really designed for people that slept on their back. The cushioning kind of squashed your ear if you tried to lay on your side, and I'm more of a side sleeper, so this was a bit of a problem. These in-ears combat that by having a very slim, low-profile design that's really easy to get to fit in your ear, and then to just adjust comfortably so you can lay comfortably on your cushion and go to sleep. 
So the app is naturally one of the highlights. It's worth noting this is a premium feature that you actually have to pay for on a yearly basis. Now, if you go into the app, you can see that this is the default screen you land on. And the headphones aren't connected at the moment, but the logic is the same. When you have them connected, you would then hear the sounds in here and you can play back a variety of different soundscapes. So this is the sort of thing as this background noise to help you drift off. So for example, you've got the sound of the beach or just sounds of rain, nice relaxing soundscapes from a variety of different locations and settings. It's calming sounds just to help you unwind, whether you like the sound of rain or campfires or just underwater sort of sounds and anything like that. Imagine like white noise, which we'll get to in a second, just as a nice background audio. And you can then have other sounds over the top of it. But this allows you to go through a variety of different ones and test and see which ones work for you. I personally really like the sound of the beach. I find it really relaxing, but maybe you find some of the others a bit more chilled. And then, as I said, white and brown noise is also in there as an option if you prefer just a constant sort of hum. Now, these are great because they help eliminate some of the surrounding noise in your environment. But you can also go into the library and you can see there's a mass of different things in there. So we have all sorts of things, including soundscapes to help you if you're trying to go to sleep, if you're feeling anxious, for example. So if we go into the anxiety one, you'll see there's a number of different sort of musical soundscapes in here, but also meditation sessions. You've got various different other sounds, like the sound of a cat purring, if you're into that sort of thing. Long, long tracks of music, so chilled out music for like over an hour or two hours, and you can do that. You can also get some to help you just drifting off to sleep. So if you find that your problem is just going to sleep in the first place, then you can find some sessions in there. If you head over to the program sessions, you'll find that there's some really good coaching sessions on just relaxation, meditation, and just easing yourself off to sleep. I found those particularly useful, and the man that voices them over has a fantastic voice as well, so you'll find that great. I personally really like the celestial binaural beats. I find that if I put those over the top of just the sound of the beach, I found that superbly relaxing and really comforting just to help drift off to sleep. Now, obviously, these things help eliminate some of the surrounding noise. So my wife snoring or just outside noise, and that can really help. Now, if you go into the data section, you'll also see there's a number of things in here. So as well as giving you these audio sessions, you'll also get tracked data on how well you've done or what difference the earphones have made. So how long it's taken you to fall asleep, for example, how long you've been asleep, whether you're in a deep sleep and other things and also how much you woke up. Now, my date is kind of hit and miss because I've been woken up a lot by my kids lately, so take what you see here with a pinch of salt, but I've been woken up a lot by the kids for other reasons, and I've also just been disturbed due to uh, unrelated problems. But what I found is you've got, got a nice sort of look at the data here so you can play around with a different sound and work out what works for you and then adjust accordingly and get some nice data on what's happened here and whether it's working. You can also get trend data. So if you use it a lot, so if you use these earphones every day, for example, you can get a sort of data on how long it takes you to fall asleep and how long you've been asleep for and sort of the time that you're falling asleep and maybe you can work out patterns in your sleeping and then, you know, work out the optimal time to go to sleep or other things like that. So if you really want to nerd out on the data, then you can do that as well. So it's nice to have that option. If you swipe down from the top on the main screen, you'll see that you can also set schedules for sleeping, but also you have settings for audio fade out. So you can get it so that the music or whatever else you're listening to eventually just slowly fades out into nothingness. And that can be helpful if you don't want that sound there all night long, because you might find it disturbing, but you can also fade it into a colored noise. So pink noise, brown noise, and white noise, which is just that constant background sound. This is great if you fall asleep really well but then you wake up in the night because you've been disturbed by something so a partner snoring or something just gets louder if you're sleeping during the day as well because you work night shifts that might be useful too but i do find that that drains the battery a bit more 
But then you do have the battery saving option, so you can turn that on. And then after the headphones have been taken off your head, for example, they'll turn off automatically. What I have found is, unfortunately, a battery saver seems to turn the headphones off when I don't want them to. And then you have to turn them back on manually with the button at the back. And then you have to open the app again and change the settings, which you don't want to do in the middle of the night. So that's a bit more messing about. So battery saver is a bit hit and miss, but without it, you find I'm charging it up more often. So that's something to bear in mind and potentially another problem. Now, these earphones are great, but I will note that they are very, very expensive. However, I also used the previous version of Cocoon's in-ear sleep headphones, and these seem to have been improved. The design's improved ever so slightly, and really pleasantly, the ear cups have been changed as well. So the ear tips have been changed too. Previously, it was really easy for them to accidentally come off. So if you found that you wanted to take the earphones off during the night, you woke up and you didn't want them in anymore, you take them off. Often when I did that, I found that the ear tips would come off and then I'd just get lost because they'd fall down onto the bed or onto the floor or get knocked under the bed and it was a pain. I have not experienced that with this new design. The ear tips seem to have been improved and they're much easier to take off. I also find them a lot more comfortable. And as you saw earlier on in the video, there's absolutely loads of ear tips included in various different sizes. So it's really easy to find ones that suit your needs and fit your ears really well so the downsides are probably the battery life the cost of the system and also the fact that you have to subscribe each year to the app to make the most of it obviously you can still play other audio through the earphones as well you're not just using the app so if you had other audio sources that you want to listen to whether that's spotify for example you can do that too because they are basically just bluetooth earphones but they are designed specifically for sleep. So slimline earphones sit right in the ear, much more comfortable than trying to wear earbuds. If you try to use your average sort of Bluetooth earbuds in your sleep, it just doesn't work very well. I tried it, it's not very comfortable because they stick out further, they squash your ears and other things are just not great for sleeping on when you've got a pillow pressed up against your head as well. So I really rate these very highly and they are worth it in my mind, but obviously, that's very subjective based on the cost and whether you can afford it and whether you have problems sleeping anyway, but maybe worth treating yourself. This has been The Provoke Prawn. Hope you found this video useful. Uh, subscribe and come back for more. Thanks for watching.